Hello and welcome back to this video. We're going to be looking over the Orc Kill Team rules. Um, obviously, as ever, if you'd like to see more videos like this one, please hit the subscribe button and smash the bell button with your chopper. So, uh, we're going to go to the uh, Orc Kill Team. Um, so I've had a quick look at this one. This is technically the second tick. I'd stop, I won't tell you why. Um, there we go. So, as with the guards from one, no, go away. This is just fluff. Um, so for the first time, obviously if you want to do a screenshot, do a screenshot um, and you'll see um, the fluff. Yeah. Um, this, so again, I like the fluff side of it. So this is the lads. Um, there's a lot of very orky ones. Um, I like the idea of the shootiest ones, because I do love shooters, even though they are stinking really bad shots. Um, so obviously, again, you can look at these ones, screenshot them if you wish. I'm not going to tell you to do it, but, you know, that's what people do. That's what I do. Uh, <laughs> uh, addicted to destruction. The plan. Um, the thing I like about this one, where is it? There was one I really liked. Um, da -ba -da -ba -da. I can't remember what it is. <laughs> so this, the, the number three, um, is the way I play Fallout or any other game. Kill team must pick um over for any every fallen corpse, a piece of machinery to grab everything they can for the mech. So whenever I play a game like uh, Fallout or Skyrim, whilst it, whilst there's a battle going on, as soon as one some one person dies, I'm looting the body whilst there's dragons and death claws roaming around. Um. Just, it's just the way I play. Um, let's have a look. Uh, da -ba -da -ba -da. Practical jokes, I like this one as well. Um, whether it's sting, sting jaws placed on the fellow's trousers, slugger grips loosened while the owner is distracted, or explosives in stick bombs placed within stink squigs, this mob will go to any lengths to mess with each other. Again, sometimes I like to troll people, so that's kind of, I know it's terrible. And again, if you want to see them, um, you can do a screenshot anytime you wish. A bit more closer, closer. Anyway, so we'll go on to the actual rules. Um, <clears throat> no, we won't. We'll have a look at this. So again, too dumb to know fear. Nothing could dissuade this orc from attacking. I like that. Uh, Resilient. Too angry to know to know pain. Too full of fight to slow down. This warrior can shrug off any wound at least for a time. And again, the names again. We won't go. Um, we won't go over and over and over them. Um, but I like some of these ones. Uh, Krog Skull, Git Stomper, Rugget, No Other Bit. So the first name, the front name, and the other bit. Nag Nagrunt de Face Grinder, Loud Gob, um, Ed Ed Racker, Ed Cracker. That's good. Brew Guzzler, Bone Splitter. So again, getting your fluff in. Tactics, I will try and read them as relatively as quick as I can, uh, but this is probably what some people are more interested in. Orcs tactics, uh, crump them. Basically, in the fight phase, you can increase the strength of that model till the end of that phase. That's good, crump them, one command point. Nash a squig um, within one inch of your models. Um, on a four plus, that enemy suffers a mortal wound. So you could probably do that, um, use, like, send some correction up just as a suicide mission. Two command points though, is it worth it? Daka Daka and Grot Shield were both on the um, community site. Basically, it means you can shoot again, and the orc tactics with the Grot Shield is whatever happens, it happens to the Gretchen instead. As long as they're within two, min two inches, that's two command points, that's cool, because you can just have a lot of uh, meat shields hanging around you. Um, yeah, is it cheating? Who knows? Um, it's just the way they play. Uh, just a flesh wound on a 4 plus suffers a flesh wound instead. Two command points, it's up to you whether that's worth it. Depends if you're bringing enough boys. Orc tactic, uh, blah, blah, blah. it's basically a uh, mech special stick bomb. Two command points. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, grenade D3, and it adds one to the strength. So instead of being strength 3, it's one strength and two damage. That's pretty cool. Um, for two command points, I like it, it's very fluffy. What does that say? Uh, it's just, um, again, a bit of fluff. So, again, if you want to read it, pause it, watch it, read it. Good. 
Um, here we go, the Orc Boys, um, which is probably a staple of many teams. No limit on boys, a limit of two gunners, uh, which you can have a rocket launcher. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Big shot of rocket launcher. Um, the knob may have a combi weapon. Rocket launcher, combi scorcher, big chopper, power claw, all is good. These are what they can do. So again, I won't read every single thing, but it's pretty much the same as your um, 40k counterpart, Gretchen. No maximum, obviously, but you can have them as a leader or a scout. Um, so we'll see. Commando. No limit on commandos. Um, there is one limit on the boss knob, commando boss knob. And um, obviously they have minus one to hit, which is good. Um, good for a, a knob. I've got a converted one already. Banner bars, I have known none of these anymore, which is a little bit annoying because it would be cool for this. Um, you can have three spanners and no maximum banners. So you can do what you want pretty much. But orcs are a really cool kill team. Um, looters, no limit on them. Always good. <laughs> um, a looter spanner, you can have a maximum of three. So you could have like all mechs if you wanted to. If you wanted to lose your mind to do that. Um, yeah. So we'll see what the weapons are like. So the main one I'm looking for here is the death gun. It's exactly the same as the... 40k counterpart, so D3, strength 7, so it could be pretty brutal, it's 48 inches, so pretty much anywhere on the board you can sit there and just pop shots off, even from corner's corner I reckon. Uh, rocket launcher, same as ever. Um, the shooter's 18 inches, that's standard, so that could be cool. Uh, Grot blaster is 12 inches, yeah, meh, oh well. Power claw, same as before. Um, here we are. Burner boys 12 points, span, burner span is 10. Uh, bu, 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 bu. So you could have probably about two two knobs in the team with a boy, a boy knob and a commando knob. Orc boy 6 points, orc boy gunner 7 points, makes sense. A rocket launcher, let's see what points are for that. 3 points, sorry, no, couldn't see that for the life of me. Power claws four points, so obviously a lot less points than the actual main game, um, which is interesting. There's a picture, I'm guessing this is the end of it. Yes, we don't look at the town. Um, so it's very interesting, and you've got a lot of choice. If you've already got an orc 40k army and you've got all these units, you are laughing your ass off, uh, brutally honest. Um, they're a cool, seem to be a cool kill team. I've never played them. Read the book about an hour. Um, so we'll see how they play. Let me know what you think. Um, obviously, as before, um, like, comment, subscribe, all the rest of it. I'm going to go now because I feel like I'm rambling. Uh, but thank you for watching and enjoy until the next time.